Okay, welcome back. So, I'm gonna make a bit of an executive decision. I've not actually published the previous part yet. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow, uh, which means I've not yet seen anyone's comments, but I'm reasonably confident that the majority of people will agree with what I'm about to do, which is, essentially I've decided we are going to take the brakes off. Uh, we're gonna stop giving the AI a chance to catch us up. I think we are in a position now. We've got Vitamina, she has 2,000 skeletons, she has an insanely large number of movement points. Chances are, even if we forbid ourselves from using the the artifacts we have completely earned, such as the Angel Wings um, and the Tome of Air Magic, even if we deliberately stopped ourselves from using those things, just by having an extremely powerful hero with a lot of movement points and a strong army, I think we're pretty much in a position where the AI is not really going to be able to open up a bigger gap against us. If anything, we just close them down. I can't really see how they escape that. So we're going to take the brakes off. We're going to start really kind of using the things we have rightfully earned. Um, and I am playing by I am playing by my usual rule, which is I can use the movement spells if the AI has been seen using them, which we have seen. Uh, I think the things to really note are that Caleb is one of the scariest heroes on the map. There's also one we've not seen before, which is Elishar. Elishar has a pack of gold dragons, several black dragons. But again, I think I'm pretty confident Vitamina could handle that. Which means the big mystery really is where Iona's got to, and what exactly Iona has. Um, and I'm not really sure about that. But yeah, I think we've nerfed ourselves enough. I'm still banning myself from, uh, just to remind people, still banning myself from the Skeleton Warrior upgrade, um, just because I want this to be a really purist skeleton run. I think it would be fine to use Skeleton Warriors, but honestly we've got this far without them, I think we're fine. Uh, same thing with the Skeleton Transformer. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to send Than in this direction. Because even though using Town Portal is going to help us a lot, I also think we should at least give Than a chance to be relevant. So we're going to go up against these Bone Dragons, and that is purely for the experience. That's pretty much the only reason we're doing it. So, 238 losses expected. We just go for a block. I think we should be fine. Yeah, so those guys will go to the top. These we can just move down to here. These two go for a block. These guys could defend, or we could go for shield. But, yeah, our spellcasting is still not that great. Um, Lightning Bolt, 320 points of damage, that's okay. Plus 5 speed, we'll take these up to 10 speed, which is actually enough. So I think going for that does make sense. But for this round, we're going to defend. These guys come down. Then those take the bait. These guys wait. Dragons open all that stuff up, and we're free just to go for the attack. I'm pretty sure we don't need to absorb retail. So yeah, I think I won't. Yeah, 7 kills if we go for this. So we go for this, we kill those off. And then we go for this. Those do go for the big stack. We lose 55. But we do get advanced necromancy at last. So there were kind of two things I was going for there. Either we go for improved necromancy, or we go for improved earth magic. Either of those would have been nice. Um, so pretty happy to at last be able to do some proper skeleton farming with that. However, our movement points are kind of scarce. So I think we start moving back in this direction. And... Vitamina has a bit of a decision to make. She either goes north, takes out these two heroes, goes across to this part of the map, across to this part of the map, through this monolith, then we come out next to this town. We wrap around, get ourselves town portal, and at that point, we're pretty unstoppable. That's one option. Other option is we go back overground, put on the angel wings so we can ignore the terrain penalty, then we go all the way to the north, we take on this Dragon Utopia. We grab ourselves the Shield of the Yawning Dead. Then we go for probably this Dragon Utopia as well. And if we do that, we can then at some point Town Portal across to this. Go back to the north, make up for that not so good fight in the previous episode. Uh, take on the Horde of Dendroid Soldiers, get ourselves a Skull Helmet. At that point we have the Armor of the Damned, which is just a ridiculously good artifact. So that's also really tempting. But I do think, the more I think about this, it does make more sense to go for Town Portal first, and deal with the threat. And that way we don't have to split our skeletons too much. So I think we can probably give up. Let's give up 400. I think that's fine. 
Uh, and as for some artifacts we don't really need. I guess we don't need this. What else could we use? So the rest of this stuff I probably can make use of. I guess we'll take this. Uh, teleport I think we'll leave on. Other stuff. So Black Shard of the Dead Knight is part of the Armor of the Damned. This thing to reduce surrendering cost. Vitamina shouldn't need to surrender. So we'll pass that across. Orb of Inhibition, again. Not sure we'd use that, but... I think we should keep it on our best hero. Okay, so with that all being done... I wouldn't mind getting these numbers up again. Uh, so Throng of Sprites, Throng of Horned Demons... But no, I think... I think we just stay aggressive. So we'll take these on. They want to join us. We'll chase them down. So 11 losses, 29 back, that helps us recover some of what we lost, and we can't quite reach Caitlyn, and we can't quite reach Adelaide. I think we'll just go in this direction. Split these up. And then Vokiel is just going to pick some stuff up. Same situation with Chana. Ashlyn's going to go for all of this stuff, and there's not really too much for Tamika to do, let's just go back to the town. Okay, so I think that should be fine for now. I guess we can also bring Than up a bit. Although, if he goes southwest instead, Strong of Stone Golems, that could be worth taking on. Lots of e -free. Some stuff we could farm there, but I think I'm actually pretty curious to see what happens if we break through all of this. So, a Throng of Horned Demons, not the easiest fight with 400 Skeletons. Possibly shouldn't go for that just yet. But we do have spell casting. We do have a few good spell options, including blind. Okay, let's end the turn there, and let's see what happens. So I'm predicting Caleb to go pretty aggressive. Still no sign of Iona. And Tan is coming towards our town, not too surprising, but kind of annoying. And Isra is actually not Green's strongest hero, that's Elishar. So Elishar opens up and takes that town, goes to the Library of Enlightenment. We've got about Orange's extra hero there. Caled actually not coming back to defend the town. Kind of surprised by that. And Tan is threatening to go aggressive against us, but Deem is pretty weak, so that's not a problem. Okay, so a Horde of Swordsmen I would like to take on, but I think more important, we take Caitlyn out. Let's go for it. So, 763 losses, but a win is expected. This should be fine. So, there's just the one Archangel and it goes for the one stack, which is obviously not a problem. Okay, so things we can do, we can go for Mass Haste, I think that is probably worth doing. Then I think we just move across. Yeah, one stacks don't make too much difference in this fight, but still. Okay, so he does actually go all out for the one stacks. We're going to move these guys across the block. These are free to attack what is probably the strongest stack, which I think is... Probably the Gorgons. Yeah, we won't cast a spell just yet. Let's just go for these. And she does flee. I should have equipped the Shackles of War. Uh, so that was a net loss, that kind of sucks. But we can reach Adelaide. Okay, gonna be a bit more careful this time. So we're gonna go for Adelaide. This time we do equip the Shackles of War. And I think we're pretty safe just to leave those on. they have got nothing for a couple of those slots. Yeah, let's try and steal some artifacts. So, wow, this one is meant to be tougher. Goes straight for slow. I don't think she looks any tougher on paper, so I guess maybe she just played better. Still pretty straightforward, I think. Move across. So these guys are ready to go for a block. Just in case, perhaps... No, 1300 skeletons should be a guaranteed kill on anything we go for. Surely. Yeah, so we do kill those off. These can just go for a block. 
these as well. And then this stack. I think we'll go for the Crusaders. Okay, so she slows. Do take a few losses. Okay, I think it's time to start going for Animate Dead. They bring quite a few back, but not quite enough. These guys go for a block. Please kill these off. Hmm. So I think... Do we go haste into Animate Dead? Or do we just straight Animate Dead? I think we'll go with haste. Then these go for the block. Please wait. We'll put ourselves... Just out of range. Then we go for Animate Dead. Got all of our skeletons back. Go for the kill. Five losses. So we've got Amulet of the Undertaker. Diplomat's Ring. Scales of the Greater Basilisk. We've got Prayer. Shield of Dwarven Lords. Some other okay stuff. Nothing amazing, but we do get 154 skeletons back. Okay, so that's really nice. I think we're good just to push through. Then back to Galthran. So this town has stopped up. But there shouldn't be a big threat in there. I think we go for it. Yeah, so there's no hero, it's just one week's worth of units. Send these to the front. Okay, so I thought they'd probably hang back, but they are actually coming out to attack. Kind of surprising. Doesn't make a lot of sense. So these three will just defend. These guys are strong enough to kill a stack of their choice. But I think, of course. Keep it simple. Bring back our units. Go for the kill. Do take a few more losses. Rest of the units come out. But yeah, pretty much no chance of this going wrong. Just have to kill things off. Okay, so we've killed those off. Need to make sure we don't lose too many that Animate Dead doesn't bring them back. So these three defend, these go to move across. And I think we defend. Animate dead one last time. Kill these off, and these will attack us. We will retaliate and we will take a few losses, but we gain more than we lose. And we're able to get our spell points back in the town. So 600 skeletons in total to defend from Caleb, if we need to, but we might not. Uh, we do have Dimension Door, of course. I have said we're going to use it, so let's go for this. Then I guess... I guess we just Dimension Door back. Can we do it again? We can. Go across to this. And that is all of our spell points gone. But we're not going to get them back, so might as well just move this way. Shana goes through all this stuff. And Than, I think. We could risk going for the Horn Demons. We can also see a throng of rogues. Do we go for these first? I think we don't. We're going to try this. Okay, I might have made the same mistake again. Hopefully not. Let's see, how would we do this differently? So, Meteor Shower, 175 points of damage. Let's just do that now. So with the same speed, let's try and bait these in. So two stacks do come in, these guys start moving across, these I think come down. We're going to go for a kind of block, small barrier. Okay, so 10 to 17 kills, 
I think we go for this, we see what happens. So we do kill them off. Then I think we go for haste. These go form a block two, these kill these off. Demons come through to attack, that's fine. Okay, so all those stacks go down, we're free to move and attack. If we go for the stack at the top, nothing else can reach us. That's pretty straightforward. Other spells we could go for, Meteor Shower. Can only hit two stacks, that's not great. I think we just go for the top stack. Save our spell points. Don't manage to kill them off. Okay, these will pull our opponents away. And free to move once again. So there's two stacks of 13, one of 17. I think we go for the biggest stack we can. Then I think we go for Animate Dead. Then I think we actually wait. Okay, so choices, I think we go up to this spot. Next round begins. If we go for Animate Dead again, 48 come back. That's pretty much all of them. So that was much less painful, and we do get Advanced Earth Magic, and we do get Expert Necromancy. So that's really nice. This is a dead end, so not great for farming, but definitely a big step forward. If we go for the fight with the Throng of Rogues, that should be pretty straightforward. Shouldn't need to take any losses. So 44 losses expected, 4 different stacks. I think we'll go for the usual approach. So these things are 6 speed, we're also 6 speed. Could go for haste. So if we go for haste, that is fire speed, which stops us using animate dead. I think actually we don't do that. Things that cost four spell points, there's shield, there's magic arrow. That's pretty much it. Shield could work, but I think there's no need. Okay, first stack goes down. These guys go for a block. Okay, so first losses start to happen to that stack. This stack probably attacks our biggest stack, which means we retaliate and we kill them off. So we can bring back 17. We go for Meteor Shower. Only kills about half of them off. I think we just let it happen. Okay, so no retaliation. Bring back the 38 and we kill them off. Four losses. Expert air magic, although I think maybe expert wisdom is better. No, we'll go for expert air magic and we'll start coming back. So we are up to nearly 500 and I think Thant has officially got going again. Okay, so we're gonna pick up some of this stuff. And Tamika. Do we have enough to defend? So seven skeletons going up against this. I would have thought we should win. Dima does have Meteor Shower, which is kind of scary, but we should be fine. I'm gonna move Tamika to safety. Okay, I think that's pretty much fine for this turn. Let's just end it there. Okay, we can see Iona has returned. I'm gonna see what she has. The town's been upgraded to a fort. And Elishar, opening stuff up, getting stronger, uses Town Portal. Orange starts moving across. Caled is going to go aggressive, but possibly not against us. And Teal doesn't come to attack us at all. Okay, so Vitamina goes through here, and we're not going to mess around. I don't know who that is, 
but I'm just going to go for Town Portal. That's the main thing we need. Also, something that's really convenient about this is as soon as we get in, it's going to be day one. We'll get the stable boost again, so we'll have plenty of movement points for next week. So that is pretty much the perfect outcome. Uh, Galthran is nice and safe. Let's just go for extra knowledge. And we do not have enough movement points to go for Dimension Door, but we could go for Fly. Or Town Portal, of course. Guess we just go for Town Portal, and we'll sit here for the turn. Okay, Vokio is going to start coming back. These two heroes kind of don't really have much to do. But I'm not one to dismiss heroes. I don't like to do it, unless I have to. Okay, so if Thank goes aggressive, I'm not sure that really works for us. I think he still needs to get stronger. We're going to go back, we're going to get our spell points back. Then I think we go south, take on some of this stuff. And Galthran, I think, is good to stay where he is. So that should be fine. Just going to start racing through these turns. I'm not really too afraid of what could happen. I did forget to check Iona. But we can see Iona does go and get Red's Town back. Not too surprising. Okay, so green is town portaling around. Uh, Orange has started going back for the Complex Town. And Caled... Hang on. Does that go where I think it goes? Someone did warn me that this could happen. That some of these places actually have multiple entrances and exits, and I've not noticed until now. This appears to be the same. Where is she? Uh, this appears to be the same as the other one, of course it's not there. Yeah, I think that's exactly the same. So that could actually take Caled. This place is not as safe as I thought. That could take Kayla to this. And then she can attack our original town. But it's too late for her because Vitamina is about to get Town Portal. Gets the stable boost. And we can now go wherever we like. So I think we're just going to go over to High Castle. Before we do, have to move Galthran out. Get the stable boost on him too. And he's just going to take a step out. Okay, so Vitamina is going to go for Town Portal, go across to High Castle, could give Galthran some skeletons, but I don't think we need to. We could also take... Could also take the Tome of Air Magic. Which I think does make sense. But yeah, I think we do that, and we pass Galthran the Angel Wings instead. Okay, so thanks to Scholar, we are learning Inferno, Meteor Shower, Resurrection. Obviously not useful. Um, Meteor Shower is though. Okay, so this stuff, let's have a think. So both of these two have the Black Shard. This guy needs this. Vitamina needs this. Orb of Sil, I think we leave on Vitamina. Not too much else I'd change. Prayer, I guess, but... No, Vitamina has water magic. No, she doesn't. We never gave her that. Neither of them have water magic. Okay. I think that's fine as is. We could do with some more spell points. In order to get that, we could go across to the well. But that's a pretty massive detour. I'm going to check on this. So four times per day, we can use Dimension Door. If we Dimension Door across to this... Pretty much all our spell points are gone. That obviously doesn't work. So we need to stay somewhere for a turn. What we could do... Is just power up for a turn. Go for this, and then go for this. And then we go for this. And then we town portal back. I think that's fine. Bit of a waste of a turn, but... We do get plus three primary skills. Okay, so Thant appears to be pretty safe for now. I think we'll go for this. And we're just going to start moving south. Get a bit stronger.
Okay, Chana, not a lot for her to do. Let's just go towards Dwarven Treasury. And Galthran. Galthran can start flying around. That is tempting, but where do we fly to? So Galthran could also go towards all this stuff, open some of this up, but... I really don't think we care too much. What I would like to do with Galthran is just to power him up. Get ourselves advanced earth magic, so we can teleport around. That's got to be the best thing we can do. Uh, but we need to... We need to get stronger to make that work. Let's equip the Angel Wings. And I guess... I guess this is the only place we can really go. Back through here. Then we can fly back towards our town. Which could be good. We've already been to the Library of Enlightenment, so that's not that great. Uh, all of this stuff I don't really care too much. I'm not going to bother chasing Dima down. Uh, we can move towards the south. Go for some of this. And that would be fine. If we fly across. That's only going to take a couple of turns. I think we just do that. And Tamika's going to go for this. Not that it matters at this point. Get logistics. Okay. That seems all good. Can then turn there. So there's still a couple of unclaimed towns on the map. Uh, Tan is coming back slightly aggressively. Still need to check on Iona. And I'm not sure which of these heroes is Elisha. Probably that one. But yeah, I'm not too scared of Elisha either. Okay, so Orange does go for Teal's town, which means Teal, I think, is... Pretty close to being wiped out. Yeah, so Teal is the fewest towns. I'm guessing that is just one town because when we took, in fact, zero towns, when we took this, Orange immediately reprioritized, started going for towns. So Orange must be on one, Red must be on one, Teal on zero, then probably Tan on two and Green on three. So that should make Green the strongest player, although I need to check on Iona. So Iona has a pack of Archangels, but nothing terribly scary. Okay, so I think... Keep this pretty simple. Gonna go across to this. Get some more spell power, and start jumping across. So that's the first jump. Second jump, we're just gonna go down to here. Of course, having given away the... Having given away the Angel Wings, we are... Slightly less able to move. But should still be fine. So we can pick this up without taking the fight. I think technically we should be taking the fight. This thing's plus two defense. This other thing, which of course we do need for a shield. Not a shield. Armor of the Damned. Plus three defense. Slightly better. We'll take the fight for the sake of saying we did. Although if they're not going to fight us, I'm just going to let them run. Then I think we... Dimension door down to this. So lots of behemoths, this should be fine. Yeah, not actually too many losses expected. Okay, let's just go for haste. move across. Let me kill these off. Please go for this. Please wait. Actually, this doesn't really work. I was going to go for a block. How far can we go? No, actually, if we just block the top stack, then we block these two. That should be fine. Yeah, so we kill these off. We should be safe for this round. They do get morale, but they can't get through because of the double block. These get morale too, so they do reach us. Do take a few losses. Then we go for this. These hopefully don't get morale. They have plenty of morale, so that's only fair. Okay, so animate dead. Bring back 54. I think that is worthwhile. Go for the attack. Four losses. 
and we are forced to make our choice, so we're going to go for basic intelligence. I think that's fine. I don't think we need water magic. I don't think we need offense. Then we go for this. 35 stone golems, just have to let those go. Move up to this. Take on the dragons. 200 losses expected. See if we can bring those back. So trying to actually bring back the skeletons has been a bit of a problem in previous fights. Go straight for animate dead. Okay, this time around we are completely fine. So no losses. Boots of Levitation, Shield of the Damned, Dragon Scale Armor, 40,000 gold. Maybe none of that stuff we can use. Yeah, because as good as some of these artifacts are, I'm a massive fan of the Armor of the Damned. I know it doesn't give you as many stats as some of the other combination artifacts, but its effect is just so good. It's one of my favorite artifacts for sure. Okay, so Vitamina is going to wait here, although in fact... No, we're not skilled enough to go for it again. Okay, so I think we get our spell points back. And... Galthron's gonna fly straight south. So a horde of Minotaurs... Should be fine just to go for this. So lots of losses expected, they are gonna form lots of different stacks. Let me just go for a big block. So these guys move to the top, these move to the top as well, and other stacks just going to form a block. So we let these guys move. Uh, if we were to go for mass haste, I think that probably does help us. The rest of them are forced to move. And we bait them in different directions. These move across. Okay, big stack kills these off. These stay put, I think. These stay put too. These go for a partial block. These go to the corner. We'll see if someone can reach them. If they can't, that's ideal. So nobody reaches us, but we will be forced to step out if we want to attack. I think that's fine. I think we just defend, I guess. Could go for a blind. Death Ripple, 75 points of damage. Let's actually have a look. So 11 kills guaranteed. Meteor Shower, we can maybe kill two stacks. Same cost as Animate Dead. Just do it. Okay, so stack of 11 does attack us. We're surrounded by a stack of 4. That's pretty much ideal. So now the stronger stacks attack us first, so we retaliate against those, we never retaliate against the weaker stack. There we go. So we're going to go for Animate Dead. Brings them all back and we kill these off. So 29 back, move across and split these up. 101 spell points I think should be enough and I think we can take on any level of Dragon Utopia? Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, so similar situation again, this guy's not quite as good at spellcasting, but for some reason they go for the one stacks with this guy, which is a little bit strange. 5 to 8 kills. Hmm. Not quite strong enough. Could go for Slayer. Plus 8 attack. But 16 spell points, that's really overpriced. No, I don't think we need to. 
Let's just go for these. Do kill them off. So they're still going to go for the one stack, so that's completely fine. A stack of six goes for these, we kill them off. I think we play it safe, go for animate dead. Bring them all back. And we're going to try and kill these off. What should we do? Do take a few losses, 29 losses. Sword of Judgment, Tome of Water Magic. Some really good stuff there. Okay, so Sword of Judgment, plus three... No, that's wrong. Obviously wrong. Plus five to all four of our primary skills, so that is a massive power spike. Uh, some of this other stuff. Already equip this. And also equip this, which is part of a combination artifact, although I think that might be only in Horn of the Abyss. Dragon Scale Shield, even more stats. Tome of Water Magic, not that useful on this particular hero, but still. Okay, I think we go towards the town next. Also got a Pandora's Box. Lots of skeleton farming opportunities. Should go for this fight, I think. So, 37 losses expected. They do form as one big stack. This is worth doing just for the skeletons, I think. Okay, should be able to one-shot these. Yeah, one-shot guaranteed. We have taken... let's have a look. Five losses. Not worth spending the spell points. So, 23 back. And then we go for that next turn. Okay, so that next is just going to move south. Going to get as strong as possible. This guy's going to move up too, and Ashlyn grabs these last few resources. Okay, again, I think that's fine for this turn, so let's end the turn there. Okay, so this next turn we should be getting ourselves the Armor of the Damned. That's going to be a really strong artifact. Iona's stuck in the swamp, so barely moves. Something's going on with Elisha, I'm not sure what. But it seems to be making some... weird decisions. Teal is a complete non-threat. Pretty sure they're more or less out of the game. Let's have a look. So yeah, Dima is their strongest, so they're pretty much out. Okay, so Vinamina is now going to go north. Dimension door up to this. And it is time to get our revenge on the Dendroid soldiers. Let's go for it. So 120 losses expected. These are 4 speed. We are 5 speed. So I think we should be fine. I'll send two stacks in just in case. Then nothing can reach us. So we wait. These two stacks move in. Then we go for this, absorb the retail. These guys just move slightly closer. So 33 to 38 kills, that should be pretty much guaranteed, which it is. And we kill off the other stack, so one loss, 60 skeletons back. We get ourselves a skull helmet, and this... This is going to be a big downgrade to our stats, but it's such a good artifact. For sure one of my favourites. There we go, Armour of the Damned. So, Armour of the Damned. For the first 50 turns of combat, we are going to cast Slow, Curse, Weakness, and Misfortune on all of their creatures. Such a good artifact. Going to make us a lot stronger. Then we go to the Learning Stone, and have to decide what to do next. So there is a Pandora's Box, just to the north, I feel like we should go for. Uh, the Behemoths would be good experience, but probably not much point. So the Lots of Dragonflies should be fine, there's a Pandora's Box to the east as well. Let's chase these down. Get some more Skeletons, go for this, we can see the, the Grail is somewhere, we've probably already seen where that is, but I'm not going to... Not gonna really investigate that. Lots of behemoths should be fine. 
So 20 behemoths in total. We go for our spells, and these are now 3 speed, these are now 4 speed, so we should be good. Just to move across. And neither stack can reach us. So we're gonna wait. Both move closer. Kill these first. Then we kill these. So no losses. 4,600 experience, advanced intelligence, and let's go for the Pandora's box. 10,000 experience, not enough to level up. And I mentioned Dora Cross to this. Should we just move there instead? Perhaps we should, so we can take on the boars. Yeah, let's do that. Get ourselves 73 skeletons, and... We're now going to come up against the Horde of Trolls, which is... A few extra skeletons, but not too many. One loss expected. 43 back. And this Pandora's box, I think... Will be less good. 5,000 experience. Still not enough to level up. Strong of Lizard Warriors for the skeletons, perhaps. Could work. There is the Cartographer. Reveal the entire underground. And I think while we're here, maybe we should do that. Should probably also take on the Lizards. So they actually do want to fight us, and they do form as one big stack. So we cast our various spells, and the usual situation, we go for blind. Move these across. And we kill them off. So we're up to expert intelligence, another 100 skeletons, we're nearly back up to 2k. Lots of stone golems, we might as well kill them on the way. Ward of Dendro guards, pretty straightforward. Okay, I think that's fine. So, going back to Galthran. Let's go for the Throng of Imps. He also needs some more skeletons, I think. So, very few losses expected. We do get advanced earth magic, which is exactly what we were hoping for. And this town is pretty weakly defended. So we're just going to take it. Nine skeletons back. And if we fly up to this stuff, Throng of Infernal Trogs should be, again, pretty straightforward. Place those down. That seems fine. Similar situation again. Throng of Wolves, let's go for it. So this time round, I think we're going to try and preserve some of these skeletons. kick this off. Okay, so wolves come across, they do take the bait, but not with the right stack. Gonna let this play out. Okay, let's go for a kind of block. Actually, this block should work perfectly. So yeah, they go for the one stack. We save ourselves all of our spell points, kill them off. 73 skeletons, move across. 90 pixies, that is not what we wanted, just have to let those go. So moving to the south, throwing of skeleton warriors, also the potential skeletons from the dwarven treasury. I think we should go for that. Just going to go with one stack for this because they are going to attack us, so I think using animate dead is pretty much inevitable. They are faster than us, there's not much we can do. Okay, bring 55 back, kill them off. 48 skeletons for that, and we're just gonna keep pushing in that direction. Ashling goes to this, we have some spell power. And we'll go for this as well. Okay, Tamika. Same situation as usual, not too much to do. Uh, Than is going to go for this. We're going to go for, I think, plus two attack. Hall of Gogs 
should be fairly doable, but easiest fight is for sure the stone golems. Should get us quite a few skeletons too. So iron golems are 5 speed. We are 6 speed, so this whole situation should work completely fine. Move these in. Okay, we're just going to form the usual barrier. Go for a double lock on that side. Then I think we wait. And then we'll move in. Hmm. Does this work? There might be a better way to do this. But I want to start attacking. We don't quite kill them off. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate because I could, if the turn order was slightly different, I could seal these in. But it's fine. Move these to safety. These to defend. These go back. And we're just going to let them do what they want to do. So a stack of three can reach us. I think these go round. Please wait. So Iron Golems start moving in. A stack of three can attack us. Other stacks can't reach us. Can't quite kill this off. We can probably make that work to our advantage. I think. Well, these can reach us, but they move first. So we would really need to throw someone into their range, which isn't going to happen. So I think they will wait. So this might not work, but actually meant to wait, of course, instead of going defensive. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, we're going to have to cast Animate Dead at least once, and that's fine. Okay, so now I think we wait. Let them move in. Then we attack the strongest stack we can. Same thing again. Okay, so we wait, we kill those off. These come closer. We go for animate dead. Bring them all back. If the attack. Six losses. And we're just going to go for Expert Wisdom, Advanced Scholar. So quite a few levels for that, plus 84 Skeletons. Starting to get Thank going too. Some artifacts. Uh, let's just remind ourselves, do we have Blind? We do. So I think we can take on the Wood Elves. Okay, let's pick this stuff up too. And this town we can start building up, so I think... Magic University, not quite as important. Artifact Merchant's going to be exactly the same as the other town. Just going to go for the Mage Guild. And the town there. So I think there's pretty much no one that directly threatens us. Mm, I stand corrected. Tan is coming towards us. But Iona's stuck in the swamp, so that's good. And green. Definitely up to something, but not sure what. Okay, so Caleb may be coming to threaten us. This guy is coming towards us, but I think he might time out. Okay, so Vitamina first. Let's just go for this. Should be an easy fight. Three losses, that's perfectly fine. 32 skeletons. Horde of Orc Chieftains. Hmm. I do want to get some more skeletons. No such thing as too many skeletons. I think we will go for this. And... Horde of Sharpshooters. That should be fine. I will go for this first. Okay, do you want to chase these down? I'm actually going to say no. Go for this. A thousand gold reveals all of this, so we can see there's a dungeon town just there. Pretty well defended. Red has a town to the southwest. If we wanted to attack, Wise Oak is 
Probably achievable, that's pretty close to Kaled. We could Town Portal back and Dimension Door across. That might be good to do. So lots of Stone Golems, don't really care too much about that. Uh, if we go south, looking for easy skeletons. I think these Centaur Captains might be the best choice. Kill these off, and then we go south to this. Okay, quite a bit to the south. That's interesting. Horde of Lizardmen, let's just go for it. Um, yeah, we should get net positive skeletons for this. Then we go for this. Chase him down for sure. Eight losses expected, 126 skeletons. Don't attack the guards just yet, let's spread out. I'm going to keep it simple. Just going to go for a bunch of stacks. Go for the attack. 11 losses, that's totally fine. Okay, so up to 2,200 skeletons. If we go south, lots of resources. Of course, this has revealed everything. Um, the cartographer has revealed everything in underground. Uh, if we go much further south, a couple more imp caches. Another Pandora's box. Is that worth going out of our way for? It's not an easy jump. We'd have to go quite a bit further south. Maybe it makes more sense just to go back to Lanting. Okay, so we're back to Lanting. If we go for Dimension Door, we can get pretty far across. How confident are we? Adela's not really a threat at all. Can we just go aggressive? So, not skilled enough to cast again. What else can we do? We can go for this. And start coming back. Okay, Galthron has 826 skeletons, I think two stacks should be good for this. Going for this purely for the extra skeletons, six losses expected, 30 back. And a throng of skeleton warriors over there. If we go to the west, this zone takes us towards green, so there's Valeska. Also the town, just there. If we go south, a couple more Pandora's boxes. That's probably worth doing because Galthran is not as strong as Vitamina. Bring this back together. Okay, we're going to go for Cape of Velocity because it's going to make the... Well, actually... No, we need to keep this equipped because we don't have pathfinding. This is fine. Let's go for it. We take 16 losses, 82 back. And we can fly across, take on the Wolf Riders. There are quite a few places for skeletons to the west. But I'm quite curious about the Pandora's boxes. I think we will go for that. So 156 losses, this fight we do need to take, and there are quite a few different stacks. Okay, let's move these guys up to here, and this should be pretty easy to defend. Okay, so with the same speed, pretty sure we can one-shot them. Yeah, so 17 kills, we're gonna go for haste. Pull these off. Pull these back. I'm gonna go for the bottom stack. Hopefully the 16 Gorgons here can't reach us, but unfortunately they just about can. Okay, so we're gonna have to go for animate dead. At least once. Ah oh, crap, one stack. Okay, so rest of the stacks can't reach us. These get morale, but still can't reach us. So now we wait with all of these stacks. These move to safety. These guys try to come round. Fill these off.
Okay, these two stacks move in, we kill these off, these defend, then we can kill the rest. If we were to go for animate dead, I'm gonna bring back 14, not really worth doing. So 19 losses, 49 back, we go for this, we get ourselves all the good spells, one of which is Armageddon, which is actually absolutely perfect, because we can of course pair that with our Orb of Tempestuous Fire, and although it will harm the skeletons, because we really just have one power stack, it doesn't really matter that much. So that's actually really nice. Uh, if we go to take on a throng of magi, that's going to be slightly more awkward. But it's on our way, so let's do it. Okay, lots of losses expected. More stacks than I thought. Pretty tempted to arm again. Proof of concept, but do we take more losses than we should? We probably do, to be honest. Probably just try and move across. Yeah, so we do actually start off, so it does make sense just to go for haste instead. And just shut them down. Okay, so let them do their thing. One of them does get to attack us. Kill the first stack off. At least stay put. Kill the second stack. And... Let's just block these. Okay, so these are free to move, I think. We could cast some spells here. If we go for Animate Dead, brings back 34. I think we just do it. Okay, 24 losses. Uh, we do get Expert Earth Magic, Expert Wisdom. I think we go for Expert Earth Magic. 67 skeletons back. So Galthran is now a lot stronger. Than is going to go to the north. Don't care too much about the artifact. Move these across. So 52 in total, starting off in three different stacks, so just go for mass haste, rush across. Probably should use all of our stacks here. Let me just seal these up. Okay, pretty straightforward. 20 losses, 19 back. Maybe not worth doing. Uh, if we go for... well... We need to get ourselves Town Portal, I think. So, we need to start moving back in this direction. Make sure we scare Adela off. And we can see where this goes now. So if we follow this along, it leads up towards the top, and then it leads towards this fortress town, which is... pretty close to Iona. And Iona is pretty scary. Check the stats, so 20 attack, 20 defense. Yeah, pretty scary. I'm not looking forward to that fight too much. Well, I kind of am. I think it will be good. Okay, well, we have done quite a lot in this part, and I think in the next episode we're going to start going more aggressive against the actual towns and actual uh, heroes. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.